So truthfully, this comment here does break my freaking heart because it's like you have to break the truth to someone. Yes, we have our rights. And when we are innocent, that is the first thing you want to do. You want to defend yourself. You want to fight. The ball is in your court. You have evidence and they have the burden of proving you guilty so without evidence we think how can they prove me guilty so we come into situations not fully knowing how the game is played the way that i explained this was i was referring to the game of uno because people tend to change and play uno different ways so I align the way that the box, let's say you broke the card straight out the Uno box and you started playing according to the rules that came out the box of the game. And that is what we usually know as a citizen, as law abiding citizens, we know the rules by the rules that are played out the box of the game. Okay, so when you go to court, you soon find out that the game is being played a different way. So like at Uno, people might say, hey, you got to keep pulling cards until you get something you could throw out. And then some don't play that way. They're like, okay, you pull a card. And then, because if you play one way, you're going to end up with one more cards. If you play the other way, you'll end up um, with less cards. So it might be easier for you to win. But once you start going through trial, you quickly find out that the rules that you thought were in the game of trial are actually being played a different way. The odds are really stacked up against you and it's very hard to win a trial even when innocent. That's what I'm saying. And it's like the way you find that out is most time going to be the hard way. You're going to learn the long, hard way. And that is how my family learned the lesson that yes you are innocent and that's the first thing you're going to want to do you're going to want to fight for your freedom your innocence your rights that you have as a citizen of this country and at the time that my husband was wrongfully arrested he was only 19 years old by the time he turned 20 he was wrongfully convicted so growing up we always both of us we believed in the system and the rights and the right to a fair trial and my husband full-heartedly went in that trial thinking he was coming home if he had a knew there was a shadow of a doubt because an innocent person you know whether you did a crime or not you know you did not do the crime you believe that you're going to win you really go into trial thinking you're going to win but it's not until you have went through the trial process and you're like, hold on, what the heck just happened? It is like someone just literally just bamboozled you and snatched your glasses off or, and you can't see or they snatched the shower curtain open on you and now everything's exposed. And now you're like, hold on, if I had a knew that this is how it goes, I never would have went to trial. And that is what my husband feels like now so my husband was wrongfully accused in a crime he took it to trial because there was no evidence on him there was nothing that even implemented my husband in committing a crime and the crime that my husband is arrested for actually never happened it is a fabricated crime that's why there is no evidence that backs this happening because it was something that was concocted and because you know that this is not what it is you go through it thinking that you can stand the chance because we believe our system is fair and it's just and it's not really until the trial is over that you're like what just happened hold on that's not how that's supposed to go. They're not supposed to be able to do this, 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 and this. And you'll quickly find out that they do a lot of things they're not supposed to do. 
Um, I have many videos of the things that they do um, to really obstruct you from getting a fair trial. And the thing is that once the gavel hits the desk, though we do have the right, we have the right to an appeal, but it's still hard as heck to get it. We have many rights, but it's hard to get them to be enforced. They don't go by your rights when you go to trial. They really don't, and they're supposed to. That is what, if you delete a person's rights, constitutional rights, civil rights, human rights, if you delete those rights, what is going to make sure that you get a fair trial? Nothing. That's why the trial process is so unfair. That is why there are many people. That's why justice is so unequal. Justice is not equal and it should be equal. Um, this is why we are fighting for criminal justice reform and prison reform so that we can level these playing fields so that it is not so many people being wrongfully convicted or so many people because they don't have the, the monetary means to fight a case. They're taking pleas and things like that. Because um, really, the first instinct is going to be to fight it. But now let's say someone is going through trial now, honestly. And they want our honest feedback because we've been through there. I'm going to give them the honest feedback. I'm also going to tell them, you do what your lawyer tells you. You do what's in your heart, whatever is in your heart, because that's what I told my husband. I'm with you no matter what you do. You taking this to court, I'm right there with you. You're going to take the 17-year plea, I'm right here with you too. But if you want my honest feedback, trial is not fair and it's not just that's why i said the only way to get the fair rest trial is to have a paid attorney that is willing to fight for your life and that costs money so if you have the money and resources yes fight but the system is not so kind to those without money and resources so that's why I was saying going with a public defender because that's what most people end up going into trial with because they can't afford the attorney. And this system targets those that are marginalized, those that don't have the means. Because honestly, it would be pointless for them to target those that have the means because they can get out of these traps easily. You target someone that is going to be harder to get out of the trap. All right. I love your comments. Thank you. They are helping me to um, just explain more about this system and to just tell our viewpoint. Because ultimately, there are many different vantage points of the justice system. So it's not just one way to see it. It is many different ways. And this system affects many different people in many different ways. And we all need to reform this system so that that way people that people will be incarcerated for the things that they actually did, get the time that they actually deserve to get. And that in turn would actually make our communities more safe. All right. And uh, uh, pleas are used in a lot of different ways. So I got a lot of different um, content just out of that comment. Thank you so much. All right. Here's your girl, Cadillac.